The value that OPARC brings is both to the individual because they are having the opportunity to become fully accepted people in the community. It also allows families to be able to work because you have to have somewhere to send your son or daughter that you feel good about or you can't go off to work. Every day at work, I paint fire hydrants. I volunteer two different places. One, the animal shelter, and then I go to the, the family food bank shelter for homeless and people who doesn't have food at home. And I enjoy doing volunteer work helping people out. I like my job. My job is fun. My job is cool. Oak Park's the most wonderful place. My crew's a really positive crew. They're always joking around. They always have little smiles on their face, so it's always fun to be around them. When I started with Chris, he was working at Citycom, which is half a minimum wage, and now he's on my paint crew and making minimum wage. You just sit back and watch them do their work, and they're just as capable as you and me. We have a number of people who began as OPARC clients who actually became OPARC staff in the work activity program. OPARC is so important for the clients. The clients need jobs, they need job skills, they need teaching for the real world, to get them ready for maybe an outside job. Supported employment is where we work with different types of individuals with different disabilities, not just intellectual and developmental. And we provide them not just job training, but we also provide job opportunities. And we're trying to identify what are their skills and what are their barriers. Once we do that, we start working towards building up on their skills and overcoming their barriers, even if we can't eliminate them. One of the things that OPARC really does well, I think, is to move people through the system because we want to make sure that we're meeting each person where they are and doing what they need. And in order to do that, we want to make sure, obviously, that people are gaining skills, they're gaining confidence, that we're providing the services that help them do that. So we take traditional independent contracting as a platform to be able to give our individuals opportunities to work in integrated environments. And then we've got this Roland crew. The great part about this crew was that we didn't set crazy expectations and we said, you know, at the very least, if we can knock out four or five hydrants in a day, it gives us enough work throughout the day to keep our guys learning and occupied and it gives them enough information to have a plan of action for when they can complete their projects. We thought that it would take them um, a couple of years to paint our fire hydrants and uh, they painted all of our fire hydrants in less than a year. They, they just were really fantastic about it and they exceeded all of our expectations. The partnership was so good that they said, well, we don't want to just end it here. Uh, we're going to keep you guys on as a maintenance crew. The positive work and relationship that we've had with Roland allowed us to develop a relationship with the La Puente Water District and then the Walnut Water District. Between our three districts, I think you know, we have uh, the ability to keep this a long-running, successful program. What's great to see is we have folks that are, that are joining these crews that are stepping outside of the protected environment and stepping into the community and stepping in more roles that require some independence and some critical thinking skills. And they just blow us away, you know, and they remind us every day that everybody has value, everybody's able. I can give you a Rolodex full of customers that say the quality products that we get from Park is better than what we can do in-house. The quality of the work that the folks who show up to our business is better than what we were able to do in-house. And that's what we love about folks who, who understand our world is that it's not about charity, it's just about opportunity. And with the help of the community and our donors, we actually transform not only individual lives, but in fact our entire community. OPARC is funded through the Regional Center System and the Department of Rehabilitation. However, that funding has not kept pace at all with the cost of living, staffing costs, and so on. So programs are asked to do more and to do it with less. For me to see that environment provided by OPARC to this community is very rewarding. For Roland Water District to be a part of it 
really honestly has been an honor and a privilege. A working partnership with OPARC can really result in real change for people who so often have been left behind. They're the ones that fill the gaps for us that don't know how to. To me, that's just awesome. The best about OPARC is making money and buying stuff. Doing it for OPARC, for owning one company, OPARC.